tip, tip number six. six. Play intramural sports. Exactly. And if you What's a don't, bro? What's a don't? Don't. So now we're doing college don'ts. Um Boom. don't smoke somebody else weed or not laughing, but <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 I'm serious. Right. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do not smoke somebody else's weed unless you know them or drink too much alcohol because. I'll be honest with y'all, boy. People, I'm. Alright, so. Alright, seriously. Do not smoke anybody else's weed or drink anybody else's alcohol because females do be getting raped out there. Especially at Coastal. It happened like three big times. We saw one time when it was all the fire alarms and stuff was going on. And yeah, just watch out, woman. Don't live in Eglin. You can live in England. Don't live, don't live in Eglin. The most stuff be happening in Eglin. <laughs> don't move your car during the week. Don't move your car. Don't Please. move your car. I remember one time I had went to a Beyonce concert and I came back at like four in the morning from where I was at. And Somebody put a bike in one of the parking spots in front of my door. Boy, I moved that bike so fast. Look, look, another thing. If is, you watch this and you put the bike there, yes, I moved it. But anyway, back to that don't about the smoking weed thing. Look, if your friend has weed, he wants you to smoke it, and you know everybody don't really mess with him like that. <laughs> you know everybody don't really mess with him like that. Don't smoke his weed, because they probably they probably don't trust his weed. Well, the people I do it with, they try, I try to smoke. But I haven't done that in a very long time. I remember Zoya was like, there was the uh, concrete falling his own. Brian! Look, I promise you though, but it's like, some people. Oh, I need to tell a high school That's not gonna be so funny. Don't sacrifice your moral goals for the betterment of your friendship. No, that's a good one, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Just don't sleep with too many people. Don't overdress. Please don't. I mean, if you like the type of person like Jarvis would like to get up, put on the fit every day, yeah, you can do that. But I'm just saying, nobody in college dresses up for class. Yeah, first semester I really was faithful to dressing up every day, but then you start learning nobody really dresses up every day. But if, if you, you actually only dress up for parties, yeah, yeah, people only dress up for parties. So if you really are that type of person though, though that wants to dress up every day, look, this is what I did: dress up only on the days where you have the most classes. That's the days where everybody's gonna see your fits. And also, always dress up on Friday. Always dress up on Friday. Fresh fit Fridays are a true thing. Dress up, please. But because you don't want to look, be a, you don't want to be on campus and you just look around. If you look around, you like, ugh, you dress is like this every day. Anyway, I dress so, like this every day in college, and I dress up for parties. And when I do dress up, I look good. Okay, I do. Okay. Uh, all right, dude. Dude, get you some Nike slides. Bro, Nike slides. These right here. These right Swear, here. I had to get a new pair. This these summer. right here. This is a school supply. Yo, thumbnail. Those right there? That's a thumbnail. These is my old ones. I broke them because I wore them so much. I had to get new ones. I'm probably gonna get another two pair too, because those they are very important. Do not wash your clothes on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Because everybody washes their clothes on a Sunday morning. Now, if, you, if the whole culture of new freshmen watch this video, everybody's gonna try to wash their clothes during the week. Honestly, my tip was always clean my room on, maybe you might have like two or one class, and you, or you might even get out early, like at 12 o'clock or two o'clock. You should take those days and actually clean up your room and like do your laundry and stuff. All I know is, I ain't saying no names, but some people be stealing your clothes. Oh, look! Some people put your clothes in a basket, and then people can go through the basket and really take your clothes. I don't, I'm not saying no names, <laughs> but some people do that. Look, uh, this for you, this for, you, for, you, for the guys. It might be girls too, but you know, you got girls on when they have these. People will take your basketball shirt. Ba yeah, they will take your basketball shirt. If you really have some like nice basketball shirts that you don't want somebody to take, yeah, let them air out your room because somebody will take them and dry. Somebody will take And also, if you have white Nike socks, Look, with the black check on it, the basic classic Nike socks, they're going to get taken in the dryer. I promise you, they are. They're going to get taken in the dryer. Like, I start the school year with two packs of Nike, white Nike socks. Look, I moved out, what, three weeks ago or four weeks ago? I don't have a single pair. I don't have a single pair. I'm just letting you know they're going to get taken. Unless you have, like, a washer and dryer in your room or in your sleep, they're going to get taken. Do not spend all your dining dollars at Pie by Night. Honestly, Pie by Night is the most overrated it is. pizza place. It, it looked good, 
Yeah. And it might seem good. But no. it's overpriced. It's really overpriced. Do not get the boneless wings because they ain't not for chicken nuggets. Some things is not good. It's terrible. The best things to get at Pie by Night is honestly a round pizza. Um, the cheesy bread is good. The cinnamon rolls aren't cooked at all. The cookie pie wasn't cooked. But just stick with the pizza. Mind you, you get a pizza about this big and it's $8. Honestly, to be real with you, don't spend dime dogs on anything except for the pie. Or Chick-fil-A. Yeah. That's it. The pie is your the pie is your best friend. Italian sub. That Italian sub. You I had some nice with that. Boy, you put throw that junk in the microwave and warm that junk. Oh, man, it's on it. Woo! That junk is good, man. On steak and shrimp night. Get there early. Finals frenzies. Get there early. Please get there early because if you don't, you're gonna miss out on everything. Do go to Final Friends. Do go to Final Friends. Do go to Cino Day. Do go to Cino Day. Do go to Steak and Shrimp. Steak and Shrimp is good. Also, make sure you guys get the Get Out. Oh, and yeah, the Get Out. Yeah, it tells you about how many meal swipes you got and how many dining dollars you got left. And get the CCU Mobile out to have the um, shuttle stuff. That's for any school. Get the outs for y'all shuttles and whatever apps y'all use for y'all down Yeah. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And make sure y'all share the video. Share it, please. Like I was telling, if y'all watching my, if y'all do watch my vlog, I was telling y'all that. You guys gotta help us out. We're trying to become YouTube stars. Swear. You guys check out my vlogs too. Yeah. They're more like for the mental people. Anyway, have fun. Have a great day. Little and pizza tacos. Wear your helmets. Okay. Just.